we go. All right. Sup, nerd amigos? I'm the Top Talking Hotel Nord Grover here for another live dive. We're back at Valhalla, uh, greatest bar of all time. Uh, let's get into it. Where were we last? Just after our break. I'm drinking uh, Challenge 05 today from Bear Republic. It is fantastic. It's our newest, like, challenge series, Hazy. You know, I'm not a huge fan of the Hazy craze that, like, young people are into, but it's really good. Like, let me tell you what. So, what do we want to change for the music? City That Never Sleeps, Neon Glow Lights. Let's change that one, that one, this one, and... So let's do. Let's see, what do we want to do? Everything will be okay. All systems go. Ooh, synth stitch. I like the way that sounds. Digital drive. Drop a roll. <clears throat> you could take a couple minutes more, you know. Uh, I feel like I was just judged for how quickly I chose those songs, but she's clearly talking about the break that we just got off of. Well, I'm fine, thanks. How did you get the helmet off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns that helmet made sure to use the point of... to the point of voiding the warranty. Jesus, that's gross. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Yeah, sure thing. Now, take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. Great. Welcome to Valhalla. Ooh, robot lady. Good evening. Um, what kind of place is this? Did I step into some kind of afterlife? Wow. I don't. That's. That's either a really big compliment or a real bad burn. I don't. I don't know which yet. Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sort of. Kind of. Yeah. <sighs> Concerning robot. I would buy that for a dollar. Well, this is a bar. A bar? Nice, nice. What can I get you? I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? Well, what do you normally enjoy? Boy, let me tell you what. I have this conversation a lot. This girl likes tea. That's not something I can work with. Um, Long Island iced tea. What about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter. Sorry if it's too confusing. Something bitter but not too bitter. Bitter, but not too bitter. Bitter girly soft. I think bitter girly soft. So let's make her a sunshine cloud. Dude, so frequently when you work beer fests, right, you get this like, um, uh, how much corn tree do I want to give this chick? How about a bunch? Uh, you get people that are just like, oh, what do you have? And you're like, I have these beers. And they're like, I don't know what any of that means. And so you're like, all right, well, what kind of beer do you normally drink? And some answers White wine. will surprise you. Wine is a great one when they're like, I don't really drink beer. I, I drink wine. It's like, all right, well, this is a beer fest, so we don't have that. Like, let's see what we can figure out. Oh, good, she likes it. Uh, but sometimes, man, you get... Like, oh, I'm not really a, I don't really drink. And it's like, well, what are you doing here? You know, or they'll be, or they'll name like a, like, oh, I drink this. I had a guy one time who was just like, oh, I drink this, whatever. Like, Dank Orange Crush. He's like, oh, my favorite beer is Dank Orange Crush or some, something like that. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't know what that is. Who's that from? And he names his brewery. And I was like, I don't know what that is either. Where are you from? And he named a town, and I was like, all right, man, listen, you gotta start with big. You gotta go state first. What state are you from? He was not from California. And I was like, gangster. Okay, is it a lager beer? <laughs> what kind of beer is it? Well, you know? you also get those because I was just like, like I, it was like this, it was like like his like his home, like his homegrown stuff, right? Which is like, no hate on that. But like, I have no fucking clue. I don't know every beer, right? I'm not like a wizard, Harry. 
I'm just that's regular that's and not that hairy, well, so. But then on the flip side, you have people that are like, I like Budweiser, and you're like, okay, there's no Budweiser. Yeah. Yeah. We we don't have anything like that, but you know, or something like that. Ciders, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah. I I would hate this. Like, oh, I just like something bitter. Not that's not good enough of an answer for okay. for beer, right? I mean, it can be like gently bittered or like danky dank, you know, like <laughs> that's rough. Oh, she doesn't look like she's from around here. What brought you by, miss? I'm the star that, oof, geez. I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. Full of herself much. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrows. I think she might about. I think she's about ready to turn Super Saiyan or something. I'm the Northern Light that will show you your dreams. What is that? Isn't that Captain Planet who says some? Who has like a catchphrase every time he becomes Captain Planet? Uh, I mean, like most of the time, when it's like, they've got like a catchphrase. I'm Kira Miki, Star Kira, Star Miki. I don't know what the stars mean. Like Kira Miki. Uh. <laughs> So, should I call you Miss Miki or Miss Kira? No, you're not getting it. I'm just Kira Miki. Okay, well, that's not helpful, Kira Miki. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira and you say Miki. Okay? Ooh, boy. Uh, okay. Kira Miki. No, no, no. Put more spirit into it. Oh, she's one of these bitches. Okay. <laughs> I'm already against you, robot lady. Kira? Miki. Almost there. Kira? Oh, man. Miki. This bitch. Kira? Miki! It's going. Jill's, Jill's having one. It, this is going back and forth. Oh, ho, 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 this time Gil. Uh, Gil with a J. Showing up for the secret time. So sneaky. Oh, we're all in on it now. Mickey, boss is here and everything. <laughs> That's it. Are you feeling it? I don't. I don't like Kyoto Mickey already. <laughs> oh, I forgot this guy was in the bar. Even this guy's just like Mickey. That's what's going on here. Now, I think she might be one of them. Incept your mind bots. Uh, <laughs> don't you ever forget it. What the hell am I doing out here? Uh, where are we, Jamie? Right. I was telling you. <laughs> wow, you're good. Thank you. It's nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Wait, you're the Lilim that's putting on the concert tonight? I'm one Lilim who's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilim you're looking for. The Lilims are robots. Maybe they're blue robots, specifically. And what are you doing all the way down here? Well, they were making last preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. Well, that's one way to think about it. My producer is always obnoxious while that's going on, so I just decided to leave. I saw one of the concert's posters outside and decided to check this place. Just that, isn't that a bit dangerous? Don't your producer, won't your producers be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. This lady's the worst! And he still needs me to do this concert anyway. Ah, I see. How big is the concert? We planned for a bit over 100,000 people and sold out fast. That's a lot of people in one place. So we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal, and that's nice. Over 100,000 is not many. Now, what exactly is? It's fair. Now I wonder, how many people can, like, Madison Square Garden sit? Wow. Madison Square Garden can only, have, only has a capacity of... 20,789. I, um... It's not like a 
Well, but I mean, isn't that generally, isn't Madison Square Garden generally the, like, the, like, place that you want to sell out at? It is, like, the place, but that's also because it's, like, New York City. Oh, yeah, I guess that's just, like, maybe it's because it's, like, New York and famous and stuff. Um... What, uh, what's another big... What would you call Madison Square Garden? What is that, like, a venue? Sports arena? It wouldn't be a sports arena, but it would be, like, a venue. I mean, I feel like it, it would have to be a sports arena, because they're the ones that can afford that shit. Um. Wow. Okay, the world's largest sports arena is in Pyongyang, North Korea. There's the... Rungrado 1st of May Stadium. Uh, and it can accommodate 150,000 people. Wow. Pyongyang, North... I said North Korea, right? Yeah. Yeah, Pyongyang, North Korea. Wow, that is fucking enormous. Huh. That is a lot of people. That is. That's all the people. Hold on, then. Based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Miki, right? You don't get it. Let's start from the top, please, for the love of Christ, God. <laughs> I'll just call you Miss Idol. Oh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft as in alcohol-free? No, I mean soft as in soft. I think you need to give her, like, super sexy voice. No, I don't want to give her super sexy voice. She's a bitch. Soft. I'm trying to think, what would I call a soft drink? Oh, Raymond's Fizz is soft. Yeah, well, it says in them. Well, I know, but, I mean, this it's game is also made of make-believe. But uh, I'm just thinking of real-life drinks that can fit these people. Uh, I would call a Raymond's Fizz a soft drink because it's, like, frothy. It's mostly frothy. Because you blend it, and the egg you put in it is frothy. That's an old-person drink. It's, um... Yeah. A Raymond's Fizz is... Let's see if I can do this off the top of my head. It's orange juice... Gin, an egg, and there's something else in it. I think it's orange juice, gin, an egg, uh, something else, and then you put it in on ice and you blend it. One of the ladies from the lodge used to make them all the time. Trottle, Langerman. Oh my god, it was so good. We would have it out for our like our lodge breakfasts. Oh, it was so good. It's like one of those old person drinks that like. Everybody orders, and I was like, I don't know what this is. I'm never in my 20s, I don't know, you know? <laughs> and, and he's like, let me tell you something. It was, it was both of them. But, oh, yeah. Yeah, her husband and Toronto. Uh, those, those were good, good folk, good folk. Let's see what I can get you. All right, let's see if we can find something that's soft. Uh, I can't just ask for order was. Um, what's something soft? Oh, well, here's a bitter, girly, soft ant. Oh, no, that's a sunshine cloud. I just gave her that. I can't give her that again. Damn. Okay, so let's... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sweet drink. Sugar rush. Uh, oh, I see why it's doing this. Okay. I'm paying attention. Strong, girly, happy. What was that last one? Sweet... Sour, strong, be, 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 be. Ooh, fluffy dream it is. A fluffy dream. A couple of these will make your tongue feel velvety. More of them and you'll be sleeping sound. It's sour, girly, and soft. It is three Addy Boys. Three Powder D's. And then let's Cormatrine it up to ten. Aged and mixed. Ha! Fluff dream. Serve. Here, try this. Yeah, this'll do. Thanks. Hey, have you considered being a more th being more theatrical when you mix drinks? I used to watch um um bartender competitions. They were on one of the like late night sports channels. I love those things. I don't actually know if I've seen that movie. Yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm bad with names, so... It's been a long time since I've seen it, but all I can really remember hmm. is the Beast Boys song, where it's like... 
Yeah. Like, that's the only thing I can remember is that that song was in that movie. And also yeah, I don't remember that movie at all. Well, she wants me to, like, spin bottles and light shit on fire and stuff. Mm. Listen, I appreciate that, like, dope mixology person stuff, but also, but at the same time... Drink, yeah. I, I just... Scotch rocks. Simple man. Beer face. <laughs> and that's it, man. That's that's how that's I ain't none of I mean like it's cool. It's cool it's cool to like watch him do all the tricks. Or like the one where the guy does the thing and he like pours the drinks out and it pours like a rainbow of shots and stuff. Like that's cool shit. But Or like the yeah. Three well, I mean, you know, I guess, I mean, I'll fuck with a black and tan. I mean, where you pour, very, yeah. where you pour over a spoon and you get that like nice, like dark and and, yeah. and light layers. I'm like, I'll fuck with that. Um, I'm mean, not fuck with a margarita, but that's like 50% tequila blend. I mean, but that's so not, like, that ain't fancy. Theatrical. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really fuck with like fancy drinks. I'm not, I'm not a fancy man. Oh, the bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped his hand. Yeah, that's fair, dude. Those kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem slow seem to slow down the process of actually making a drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. Hey, is this glass important? Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh. Boy, I was expecting this chick to just, like, yeet this thing against the wall. Just like, is this glass? Boom! Put on a show! Zazz! It's like that guy from uh, Bring It On. I love that fucking movie so much. <laughs> Not these spirit fingers or whatever the fuck. Oh, man. We gotta rewatch it. I haven't seen that in a while. Actually, I don't know if we've reviewed any of those. Yeah, we should review all of those. Yeah. Because the first one's good, and, and the last one is... Fire's made out of trash. <laughs> sure, I guess. No guessing, are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. Okay then, who should I make it out to? Maybe for my boss? I wonder if Gil would like it though. Your name, girl. Oof, don't, not that. Oh, for Jill then. Poor Jill, never lose your star from Kitamiki. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks. No, thank you. I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you has their fair share of stalkers, right? Wow. Wow! Invasive question. Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. Creepy. And then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot, too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. No, I see. They're also very organized. They make pretty good soldiers. I don't like this. The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice are nice when you get used to them. This robot lady is the fucking worst. <laughs> I remember one once protected me from being mugged. Well, okay. There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. That's not a plus. Yeah. That's super horrifying. Uh, I, don't, I don't like any of that. Maybe she's a robot and she doesn't sleep, so it's not that bad. Like he just like he just like opens up a window or comes in through the back door or something, has a key, uses the doggy door or whatever the robot equivalent of a doggy door is. The robot doggy door. <coughs> And she fails to see the problem. Yeah, thank you, Jill. This chick's crazy as a sack of potatoes. I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer the same way they find it. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know? I take pride in my old liquor collection. I guess it's the same. Dude, what's up? I do take pride in my liquor collection, hot sauce collection, Lego collection. Yeah. No. 
does Marie Kondo have a particular way of folding her underwear? I haven't I haven't gotten into any of that Marie Kondo shit. It's dumb. This is this is this is the secret. Throw away old shit. That's it. That's the secret. Hey, do you have too much shit? That's because you got a bunch of old shit. Throw away that old shit. If you got, if you buy a new shit, replace an old shit with that new shit, right? I mean, isn't that just how that works? You don't apply a new toilet paper roll over the crushed up remains of the last toilet paper roll. You throw the, <laughs> you throw the sleeve away, Oh man. my god, that would be so much work, dude. It would be crazy. It's insane. Just throw shit away, man. You gotta go through stuff. No, wait, it isn't? Yeah, you give me, Jill. I don't, we don't, I don't. Okay, one more drink before I go. By now the stage should be all organized, so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. That's actually fucking super cool. I would totally do go to a concert that like started at like whatever, like 4 a.m. and lasted until sunrise, or started at like 2 a.m. and lasted until sunrise. Oh yeah. That'd be badass, That'd be dude. Cool. That'd be super badass. <clears throat> I'd be depressed if they ask for your love as a drug as an encore, though. Okay. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel their tickets were worth the ridiculous price, you know. Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was with the coffee, if it was the coffee or the girl made it. Man, that sucks. Wow. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. See what I can find for you. Okay, okay. Something bitter. That sort of wake wake upy gut punch. Uh, pile driver. Bitter manly burning. A suplex. I'm gonna give her. Do I want to give her the suplex? I can't give her the same drink again. That seems that seems wrong. I'm gonna give her a suplex. I'm gonna bring her to Suplex City. <laughs> so let's see: four Brawny Boys, three Flanny Boys, and three Karma Trains on the rocks and mixed. Welcome to Suplex City. Yeah, this works. Yeah, sure, of course. So how is it? It could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured it was for waking you up or something, so... Really, really nice, thanks. Hey Jill, have you ever lost your identity? God damn, this chick just throwing me curveballs. Yeah, I mean, I've lost an ID card a couple of times, sure, yeah. No, I mean your identity, like forgotten who you are. What's with the change in expressions? No, not really. I did. Huh? Kitamiki is just an artist's name. At first it was hard for me to play the part, you know. But I gained so much satisfaction from concerts that I decided to invest myself. And I overdid it. How so? I became so invested in the character that I forgot who I was. Who I was before I became Kitamiki. What did I like? Where does Kitamiki end and I begin? Wow, this is... This is getting real fucking deep for a bar. Maybe I shouldn't have given an extra dose of Corbettrine last time. I just don't know anymore. It sounds rough. <laughs> what drove you to such a decision? The fact that I know what I am performing, or the fact that I know I'm performing a noble duty. Um, I, don't know. I don't know about that. She seems like a crazy person. Oh, how so? You have to deal with many stressful things in everyday life. Work, debt, sickness, insecurity, the black slime that comes out of the sewers every full moon. I'm very concerned about that particular fucking statement. You don't know what will, what, you don't know what will await you every morning. 
You don't know if you'll make it back to bed that night. When measured, the cons of life outweigh the pros. People need something to cling to, and for many, I'm that thing. You are? During my concerts, they stop being themselves for four hours. They're not a nurse, an officer, an office worker, a store clerk. For those four hours, they're just part of the mass that goes to see an idol. No religion, gender, or social class divides. They're all at the same level. I think this uh, Kitamiki might be saying that, like, K-pop idols are the secret to world peace. And frankly, I support this move. Damn. When not in concert, I try to give them songs that will cheer them up, that will make their lives worth living. When I see the people call my name from the stage, I know they're thanking, for, they're thanking me. Thanking me for that single moment where they can be happy. That's what I love about the stadium. I'm down below while they're up high. If forgetting who I was before means that I can protect those smiles, so be it. I'll make that sacrifice as many times as needed. Because I live for them. Because I know I help them. I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you to your dreams. I'm Kitamiki. And don't you ever forget that. <laughs> Fan club to me! Which is the greatest way to end that as she exits. We ride to the stadium. That's basically like the, the ultimate pop star version of doing the vampire cake swoosh. Yeah, she just cape swooshed. She, she just like exited on a monologue and was like, to me! And then <laughs> took off into the night like a fucking crazy person. Yeah, Gillian, she's something else. Yeah, I suddenly feel the urge to ditch my shift and follow. <clears throat> Do you think she's telling the truth? Give me a second. According to this article, her real name is Michelle Kingston, deployed about two years ago. She did a few variety shows with her jazz band, but went solo afterwards. What was all that talk about then? She was drunk, and she was very... Pe and she was very... Peculiar figures. Still quite the motivational performer, though. No doubt. Boss, we're done. Alright. You feel like you're going to the girls' concert? Nah, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey, boss, does that name Red Comet ring any bells? Why, that was my moniker during my wrestling days. Oh my god, my boss used to wrestle. I hope it was WWE style. You're, uh... That's what they called me during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. Oh my god, I'm getting more excited about it. Do we have luchas on one of these channels? There we go, lucha fighting in the background now. They saw me coming, they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads. Any reason for being red, specifically? <laughs> that way I was three times faster. I think that might be a... I, might, I think that might be a faster than light redshift reference. Uh-uh. <laughs> How do you find that out? Do you like wrestling? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, that's what's happening at 8 o'clock tonight. It's more wrestling. <laughs> A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Ah, I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. Yes, make it, make it a thing that happens in this game. In any case... Gil, clean the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and boss, don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. This is some, like, porno music at the end here, huh? Porno music. Grab a snack on my way home. It's on me. Flawless service bonus not granted. I didn't gain flawless service. Oh, that's because I had what's his name. And that guy's always angry about his beer. So I have 3,595. It's renewed on the 17th. Today is the 15th. So I got two more days. I gotta have at least 800 bucks. Okie dokie. For did that idol really show up? Or is she like the ghost? 
pet the cat. Alrighty then. Let's do some stuff. DI has a what you call it? Dangerous opinions. Alice Rabbit Thread. Stop fearing Alice. So we hate Alice now? Good. It's just that we haven't heard any news yet. Remember that time they posted here to announce an attack? <laughs> oh yeah, and I remember the cybercrime unit uh, up the admin's ass. The 17th will come. The second retribution. Birthday is coming. Ooh, the 17th. Some spooky stuff's happening. Spooky font. Okay. I don't know who this Alice Rabbit is, but that threat's happening. No, no shit posting allowed. What the? I never left. I was just lurking, not to cause any trouble. So she's your childhood friend, like one of the Japanese animes. Oh, yeah. Mickey concert in the last thread. And on hates fun. No, at least hates fun. Sexy, you stupid idiots still care about pretty shit like that. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, that's just a forum and awful, so out. A E. Augmented I. Neo San Francisco rocked by an earthquake! A powerful 8.6 magnitude tremor had struck the area of Neo San Francisco. Fortunately, modern science was able to identify the quake almost an hour in advance, providing the city plenty of time to prepare for the worst. I'm, I'm not gonna read everything like that. That's too much work. During the conference call, Glitch City Prime Minister uh, Quincy congratulated the rescue teams at NEOSF for its rapid response in the wake of the warning. There is an example to follow, and we're certainly looking forward to implement these advancements and earthquake predictions here in our beautiful city. Glitch City is not currently known to be in a seismic zone. Oh, good. We're installing some stuff for free. That's always fun. One more civil death and we'll ban protests. Wow. By Kimberly La Valetti. After the numerous protests held around the city, which were caused by an ongoing uh, economic and safety crisis, Glitch City's Prime Minister Quincy had made it clear that the rioters take another civilian life. He'll personally write a law to ban all kinds of manifestation. All kinds of public manifestations. This simply can't go on, Quincy told AE during the call. They only want to destroy public property. They're acting, they're actively sabotaging our efforts to recover our beautiful city, and we've decided that if they cause another civilian casualty, I'll do everything in my power to ban protests. The White Knights will have full authorization to use maximum force. Quincy will be running for a second term next year. Wow. Poignant. Wow. That's... Is Alice that. Rabbit a group? The answer is here by Lonnie Smith. Who is Alice Rabbit? Judging by the complexity of the methods they're used to breach all kinds of protected software, some have, startly, some have started to think that in fact it's not a group and not a single individual. So is Alice Rabbit a group after all? Not the first time this would be a thing. More than half a century ago, a group of notorious hackers rose to prominence and they called themselves Anon. Ha 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 ha. They weren't even the threat to real protected data. December 17. Uh, I mean... I, yeah, dude. So Alice Rabbit is basically a non. Neo San Francisco is like BA, and we live in like the trash part of it. And it seems like uh, protesters are getting weird. Kita Miki blog. Oh. I have like a new app. It's a Cure Miki app, huh? Yeah. It's, uh, it's save. Add app. I can't add an app. This is just for changing the this is just for changing the music. Oh, that's how I can like listen to what music is what. Duh. Okay. Let's go to the shop. Let's see what's there to buy. <laughs> Do I want some cute clay houses? Mm, I don't need any scams. Maneki Miko, Neko. Wouldn't trust him. Get a Mickey poster. No, he's a game poster. Mm. Long tea. Shoulder massager. For those days when you built up too much tension. Get a Mickey banner. No, meet the staff. Beer on discount. 
I kind of want to do this. And love is Idle Hell, a magazine with all things idols, Paper Lantern, Hollow Planet. Oh, there's a Hollow Planet. Joker Cyclone. Oh, no, what's Joker Cyclone? It's a good fan, though. Vintage Gaming Experience. Let's get this figurine, and let's get a key to let's get a cute to gamer poster. Yeah, and then I'm gonna get this beer on a discount because I want to see what that is. And I have more than enough money, so I only need 800. Is a drug is what I need to buy. Okay, I think I can afford that. So, then I think I saw that, right? Your love is a drug. Yeah. Dope. Done. Oh, there it is. And what's the other thing that I bought? Oh, beer. 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 It's all over here. Frack yeah. All right, well, I guess let's go to work. Let's try to get some more work in. Thursday, December 15th. <laughs> Kasha! Is this what you want? Boy. You upset. Give it to a different dog. That's what I'm doing. What's up? Robin from the rich and give it to the poor. Ow! Oh. Robin from the tiny and give it to the bigger. I'm Robin from assholes and give it back to assholes, so. Yeah, I guess. Thank you. Isn't that right? You just an asshole? She says yes. Kasha already has a new girl, so she Yeah, Kasha doesn't care. But Helen cares. Good evening. Oh, hi there. Alma. Ooh, who's Alma? I was expecting the bar to be different before opening hours. But I guess it's just the same tired thing. Oh, fuck you, Alma. <laughs> Alma? Ah, Leonidas. What? Gillian. Marcello? I stumbled across her on my way in and asked her if she wanted to tag along. Hope you don't mind. Sure, make yourself at home. Where's the boss? Did she put the helmet on again? Did she? She went out for a bit. I don't know what for, but she'll be back. Alright. Alma, make yourself comfortable while I prepare. Right, thanks. Jukebox 3... Isn't there... What is the song that... When I bought that, Your Love is a Drug. Let's... Put that on there. And then let's put... Let's get rid of... Formatrain Dreams and put Underground Club. And we'll do that. Sweet. I love the uh, DJ aspect of this. Not only am I a bartender, I'm also a DJ. Or at least I play one on the movies. <laughs> or whatever the fuck. Alright. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Well, time to do some stuff. Uh, what was that? Oh, I did something that made me say back in instructions. Kind of sucks. Huh? <laughs> I went to a school that made us stand up with our hands on our backs when someone came in. That's crazy. No. That habit didn't rub off until high school or so. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Oh yeah, look at this. A glass with a signature? To j j j um, I'll assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine recipe. Julie. Who makes coffee in the kitchen? I also, I think Alma can't read.
pail. One of the dogs is coughing in the kitchen. That's Kitamiki girl. That Kitamiki girl came here yesterday before her concert. Oh yeah? Now I see her name here. You don't seem very surprised. I like B-Link more, actually. The stoic-looking duo, right? Yep, those. Ah, uh, seems you had a better day than mine yesterday. I had to break up with Damien. I see. Want a drink? You don't seem very surprised. Alma, we've known each other for, what, a few months now? I'd be interested if those relationships of yours went further than a week or two. You say you broke up, but there's usually not enough time to foster something to break. It's more like the guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. You could pretend to be more interested, you know. Oh, she's like my friend. Like my mom says, if I don't if I don't buy it, it's because I know the product. Speaking of buying, do you want a frame? Frame? Yeah, for all these pics you have of your boss. The ones filling your phone's memory. Some seem sneakily taken at that. Is that tr is that true? What do you care? How the hell did you find that out? So it is true. Shut up. I'm a hacker, remember? You shouldn't piss off a hacker. Aw, uh, I really like the one of her sleeping in her office. I think I'll copy it. You... You can make a... You can... Yeah, you, hey, can you make me a bad touch before we keep arguing? Pfft, sure. By name, be and touch. Bad touch. We're nothing but mammals after all. Sour, classy, and vintage. Yes, that's the song as well. Two brawny boys, two powdered D's, two flanny boys, four karma trees, on the rocks, and it's mixed. Ooh, the bad touch, ya. Yeah. Here you are. Who gives these drinks their silly names? Who is the one who registers it? Some people have quite the silly sense of humor. Like that girl who keeps laughing over this particular drink's name? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, who's Damien again? The one with the nice car. Sure, he's also the manager at the bank, but the car is what caught my eye. And what was wrong with him? Turns out he was a LARPer. Aww. That's not nice. LARPers are people too. <laughs> so I just took the dogs outside to yeah. make sure that she was okay. Yeah. And I'm standing out there watching the dogs do their business, and a squirrel literally starts dropping nut holes on me. I mean, listen, you're in its nut drop space. That's on you, bitch. Yeah. You anger the squirrels. And if I learned anything from Rick and Morty, it's you don't fuck with squirrels. This squirrel was just like, here's some bay nut rinds. Boom, boom, boom. You're never allowed to come. Nut to rinds! Dude, let me tell you what, the squirrels out here, fucking fearless little monsters. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it dropped them and laughed. It might have. It might have. Barf. <laughs> what did he roleplay as? Have you heard of the Woodstock fairs? Those events where people barely dress, stink, roll in the mud, and fuck in the open? Wow. Wow. It's a lot of judgment for Woodstock? Thing, but I don't think I can do that. Yeah. Those are hippies, yeah. He frequents those, and it's something I'd rather not deal with at all. Okay. He's not a LARPer. He just likes going to, like, concerts with, like, the kind of hippie music. <laughs> hey! Finn, Finn! There's nothing out there! What hey, are you doing? Finn, come here. Sorry about that. I don't know what the hell's wrong with him. There's literally nothing out there. He's just barking into the darkness. Finn, go home. Go home. Yeah, there's nothing out there. You're hallucinating. Jesus. Well, don't be dumb. You know what you want, man. If I stayed with him, I'd eventually have to... I mean, 
I need to support my partner in what he does if it's... But if it's something like that... You see, that's the problem right there. You say break up like you had something formal, but most of the time you're still getting to know him. Think about it. Have you ended your long... Have you ended your longest lash of lasting relationships for things like those? Okay, sorry for not using the right word or whatever, but I'm still sorely disappointed. And at least I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent the night with someone else? Wow, judgment. Last night. Your cat doesn't count. A year ago, it was messy. See? I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that. If I were you, I'd have... I would have pushed Fuckboy over there into a tiny closet ages ago. Wow! Wow, Gil gets put on blast. <laughs> Fuckboy? People have different needs and priorities. Yeah, but don't you miss having the warmth of someone else at your side? And the radiation. Sleeping next to somebody increases the amount of radiation you experience. You just learned something today. So does eating a banana. So eating a banana, though. So, but banana radiation is the good radiation. I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna assume it is. Putting your head on the chest and listening to them breathe as they pet your head. Dozing off knowing they're the watching you, protecting you. Jill? Anything I can make to make you to shut up and drink? I'll have you know... I'll have you know that my Uncle Juan taught me ventriloquism when I was 12. Drinking won't stop me from talking or making tasteless puns for Aunt Rosa. That's a weird skill to have. Still, give me something weird, would you? Uh, ventriloquism? Weird. A weird drink. Yeah, something different. Experimental. Uncommon. Let's see. A weird drink. Hmm. Promo drink fits the bill easily. Yeah, but that promo drink, like, kind of blue, didn't it? Uh, there's promo strong, promo happy, piano woman, promo strong. Um, this drink does not represent the opinion of the bar pianist union or its associates. Uh, it was originally called Pretty Woman. But too many people complain that there should be a piano woman if there was a piano man. Let's do the... I want to do the piano man, though. I'm going to do the piano man. Two Addy Boys. Three Brawny Boys. Five Powder Bees. Five Flanny Boys. And... Three Quarmatrines, but I'm going to give her all five of them. On the rocks and mixed. Maybe I can't do more than just the three much calls. Reset. Ah, that's why. That was the wrong number of brawny brawn boys. Here. Okay, it was my understanding that you could just willy-nilly add more karma train because that's what boosted the booziness, but the hell do I know? Yeah, this fits the bill. It's a promotional drink made to commemorate a movie. Read. They leapt at the chance to sell drinks that would be unmarketable otherwise. <laughs> you know, your orders are weird today. They are? Yeah, usually the first thing you ask for is a Brantini, and then something like a Cobalt Velvet or something similar. Well, I sometimes feel like I need something different, you know? Something tells me part of the reason you left Damien is because he was too deep into routine. Maybe. Hey, speaking of routines, as a hacker, what's your opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing? That's the silence of somebody who just heard something stupid. Stupid enough to warn the speech they just prepared they've prepared just for the occasions like this. 
as always, very perceptive of you. You know, decades ago, there was this group of people that hacked simple sites with an agenda. Can't remember what they used to be called themselves. I just remember that it was a, it was just petty vandalism. Well, I'm pretty certain that she's trying to make fun of Anon, and petty vandalism, the fuck Anon is not, but that's fine. Anyway, everyone that participated started using the same name. They wanted to create this anonymous anarchist identity. The whole Alice Rabbit thing is the logical conclusion of that. It's what happens when that idea reaches its breaking point and goes in the mainstream. It is no longer a group, but an individual. An untouchable entity watching from the shadows, monitoring and judging everything everyone does. Observing, observing, tolerating no one but itself. A lot of bullshit from what's essentially a pet the press made out. The, anti the antithesis of your usual boogeyman, if you must. So you don't think such a person exists? Don't know? Don't care. I mean, we have seen the actions of such an entity. But it might be anything. An individual, a group, an AI. That's not taking into account all the copycats and pranksters using the name. So Alice Rabbit is a thing that exists. But it's also really muddied overall. Um, she's chewing on something. No, that's not what it is. <laughs> don't not chew on the curtain. She's not gonna be happy until she gets gold. Don't, don't chew on the curtain. I'll eat your face. There's something else that worries me, though. That kind of story always catches the attention of kids and such. They start trying to hack, to hack stuff without knowing the risks or consequences. Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. That's how it feels for me, and it's thanks to that damned Alice Rabbit thing. Hella, leave the curtain alone. There you go, lay the fuck down. This house is full of toys that you can chew on. Curtains are not for chewing. Do you like together. No, I see. But enough of that. There's a more pressing matter at hand. There is? Yeah, you've been delaying my invitation for hanging out some time. Oh, yeah, that. Do you hate me that much, Jill? Does my pr does my presence make you that uncomfortable? Maybe a little bit, yeah. Now, lasers, I want wrestling. There you go. Channel 8 is wrestling. Channel 9 is Hassy Zero. That's off the air. We're on Channel 8. No, I... At this rate, I might just crash by your apartment. That way we can that way you can't just say no. Maybe I'll also crash for the night. We could have a sleepover, braid our hair, tell stories all night, shower together. That That accelerated quickly. Yeah. You know, you need some human warmth in that place. I think our friend Alma might be trying to do us. It sure sounds like it, yeah. Yeah. Or maybe she just hates cats? I don't know what's going on here, but she's, she's being weird. Your tits alone would fill my entire bathroom. Burn. Definitely trying. Man, you react too nonchalantly. It's no fun. React a little bit. Let me tease you for a second. I refuse. In all seriousness, though, any particular reason you keep turning me down my or keep turning down my invitations? I mean, it's not a date. I just want to have a conversation with you outside these four walls. I'm not a morning person. I registered for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. The earliest I've asked you out is 10 a.m. You know. That's early morning by my standards. Well, that's horseshit, but I'm a not sleeping in person. I'm also not a late night person. Or, uh, uh, excuse me, I'm not a um, uh, early to bed person. Like, I can stay up late at night. I, I, 100%. Night I'm a night owl. That's the word I was looking for. Could not keep up with that one. Like, I have no problem with staying up super fucking late. Uh, and pretty much regardless of what happens, I wake up at about 8 o'clock every morning. So, or 7, depending on what kind of work schedule I have. I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out. I just don't want to wake up early. You are hopeless. Anyway, I'm going to need another drink here. Like, say a big brandy. Finally, that's the album I know. Big old brandy. Brandatini. Six of these. Six Addy Boys. Three Powder Bees. Cormatrine. And then ten more Cormatrine. 
which I think is what makes it big, it's all aged and mixed. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, well, how the heck do I make it big? How do I make you big? Is it just doubling the whole recipe? Ah, yeah, it is just doubling the whole recipe because Jonathan looked it up on the internet. Okay, reset. we go. We figured it out. I got it figured out. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop. Brandtini. Sir. Here you go. You know, Brandtini is such a weird name. I mean, it's a Brandon Tini, I would assume. It was originally supposed to replicate the Martini. Problem is, the BTC got a hold of a brand of vermouth that was named after a certain automobile company. So, on a weird whim, they changed the name. Huh, I see. You know, I was wondering. Yeah? Don't you worry about what the people you work for might be doing with the information you provide? Not really. You don't? Do you worry about what happens when people leave this place drunk? Not really, most of the time. Well, neither do I. Why, sh why should you? Do you get people drunk? Some say my beauty is intoxicating, but that's besides the point. I get my payment, do my job, and forget the whole thing. You make your job sound so easy. Once you understand what precautions to take, it's no problem. I've always found my job fun. However, most of my contracts are consultancy-based gigs. It's not like, like every day's a thrill. Do you meet with your clients, or I don't? It's always from behind many filters as many filters as I can manage. I remember once I did a job where I had a couple of kids relaying letters. For security reasons, right? Actually, because that way I lose a lot... <laughs> Actually, because that way I lose a lot less time. I, I, don't, I don't even know what that could possibly fucking mean. I don't have to deal with clients hitting on me or pestering me about jobs done. I also don't have to lose time proving my worth because big boobs equal small brain or some shit like that. I mean, protecting my identity is one of the reasons, but the few times I've shown myself, <clears throat> they weren't even risky or dangerous jobs, just run off the just run of the mill security gigs. I don't know, maybe I need to show up as a disheveled nerd or something, give them what they expect to see. Or I just don't show up and save myself the trouble. Why all the questions? <coughs> There's things I've been curious about and always forget to ask. So, many Alice Rabbit headlines have made me wonder about the hacking business, too. Oh, I'll remember to ask you things next time, then. Well, I'm taking my leave now. See ya. Take care. Ooh. Hello, sugar. Ow. Hello, Mr. Donovan. Like my pop used to say, never touch an ass of a woman with metallic arms. And that is where we are going to end it. Mr. Donovan has returned to be an actual piece of human garbage. Uh, so that's fun. Yeah. That's fun. So, either way, this has been Live Jive. This was VA11 Hall A, the Cyberpunk bartender action game of Valhalla. I... Uh, man, I don't know how I don't know how to process a lot of the stuff we learned today, but that's all right. Uh, don't forget to like this video, comment below, share, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff because this is inevitably getting uploaded on YouTube. Um, I am on live stream every Wednesday from seven to eight p.m. Pacific Standard Time, just before wrestling, and then I watch wrestling and work out. So I will catch you guys next week, same bad time, same bad place, same bad game. So. Catch you on the flip side.